The next function on my list is actually a combination of two and it involves using pickle. Now this is pickle.dump and pickle.load. Now a lot of times when you're working in Python, you want to directly save a Python object. Now it's very difficult to do that and usually what you'll have to do is convert that Python object into something like JSON or into something like a list, some type that can easily be saved in a file. You'll have to save it there and then later when you're loading it back in, you'll have to parse through that data and then convert it back into the Python object that you want. Now that is a bit of a pain and fortunately Python has a solution for us which is to use pickle. Pickle allows us to save any Python object in a file. So to illustrate that I have this example where I've created an instance of this dog. Now this is a custom class that I've written myself and what I want to do is save this dog instance. So what I'm going to do is open a new file here that has a pickle extension, so .pkl. I'm also going to open it in the write bytes mode because we're going to be saving this as bytes, not as text. What I can do to save this dog object here is I can simply dump it using pickle. So I can say pickle.dump. I take my data, which is my dog object, but it could be any Python type that I want, and then I save it to this file. Now later on, I can go ahead and open this file. We're just doing this for example purposes. So I can open data.pickle in the read bytes mode that's what RB stands for. And then I can load in this object by doing pickle.load and then loading in the file. When I do this, it's going to give me the exact same dog instance that I had before. And I'll show you that by printing out the loaded data and then calling a method that's only available on the dog type. So let's run the code here. And you can see that we get our main dog object and we get my name is Max and I am a 10 year old golden retriever. So that is how you can save any valid Python object using pickle. It's very useful, especially when you don't want to be converted converting, say, a complex class into something like JSON before you save it.